Oh, well, got my little shop cat hanging out here. My daughter calls her a ladybug. And I always heard of shop dogs, and my friend said, well, if a shop cat is better, and you realize they kill mice, I would have to agree. Alright, it's time for the next episode of the, my 1973 Toyota Slico build. And today we are going to be installing the quarter panel on the driver's side. Um, this is the use panel I got, or this is the one for this side, the other one's already installed, so I'll show, how we, I'll show you how I did that. Um, I got these pair of panels from Los Santos Toy Shop. This, it's been media blasted and primed, and so now we're going to install it today. Alright, so we are still on the old camera. Uh, this is the next part I want to weld onto the car. I've got the door on the driver's side here lined up. I've t got the quarter panel lined up and I've removed it already. Uh, now we're going to get this piece lined up and we're going to tack it into place. But uh, it's going to sit right about here. Kind of like this. And then in here is where it's going to uh, spot weld to the quarter panel and then I'll do my seam weld here. So the wheel tub is fitted and I think what I want to do is I'll take the grinder along here, grind it, uh, cut a slit in there as I go, pull the bad metal out, and run tacks in there. Uh, the, that way I get the most tight, best fit. I'm going to start with uh, welding uh, this portion together and then we'll work our way across. Uh, so we got this portion joined here, so now we're going to work our way up here. Alright, so now I'm going to start by uh, taking a cutoff disc, coming along here, and kind of putting a slit in between both. That'll get me my gap I need for welding. So another thing I'm going to try, um, this piece of copper, again, and I'm going to stick it underneath here. So this is flush against here, and see if that helps me uh, bridge those gaps a little bit. So the copper is in behind here, and I'm going to put the weld bead in there. I'd say this is a good idea. It works really well. I'll just fill that gap pretty quickly. The initial tacks are all done holding this uh, this piece in place on the nice and sturdy. Uh, but we still got to fill in all the, the holes. It's just spot welded in place right now. Or not spot welded, just tack welded in place. So the wheel tub is now welded in place on the driver's side. I'm not going to bother grinding down these welds, I want to keep the strength there. But I've ground these down somewhat, kind of where you look in the trunk and you see it in this area. Now I'm going to be priming the welds on the inside here uh, with some more of this epoxy primer. And another thing I'm going to do is inside here um, you can see well, maybe you can see I've primed it down on the bottom there already. Uh, but what I want to do, um, like this seam here, I'm going to take the uh, internal frame coating and I'm going to hand uh, spray bomb it into there. So I want to make sure that it's kind of soaked in as much as it can because it's a folded over metal seam. Uh, I have the weld through coating in there, but this will be my extra. So this is the inside of the passenger door. All I really did was uh, kind of see if I get my hand in here. Kind of down in that corner, I made the patch. So that needs to be coated yet. Um, but if you look inside, kind of in that area along there, it's a little bit brown in there because this side didn't actually need rebuilding. So I'm just going to put that uh, zinc uh, coating in there 
get a nice thick layer in there with the masking tape on the bottom on the hole. So that should help keep it a little longer. Now I'm going to do uh, the internal frame rail coating on the inside of the doors. Just here so you guys can get a better view. So let's get a shot inside. You can see I've done a ample coating in there, kind of all the way in wherever a seam would be. And I actually did it's up in here. You saw me do that too. Um, I did have to fix the rust hole right here, so there's probably more rust hiding along inside there. And I never got coating inside there, so that door is going to have a little extra protection now. So it's time to install the quarter panel permanently, and uh, this should be the last time it has to be fitted in place. Camera here. So, there it is. Now it's time to get the Clicos in here, uh, self tappers where they need to be, and then we're going to start, we're going to clean off the primer and we'll start doing the welds. This is the quarter panel. It is fitted into place where it's going to stay now. I've been using the Clicos to hold hold it on and off. I did a lot of on and off with the quarter panel. Um, and then inside here I just did uh, self-tapping metal screws. So next step will be welding this back together. Of the initial tacks on the top of the quarter panel. Uh, so now I gotta fill in between those areas.
So, these are, this is my weld, and I know they don't look pretty, but there's, put my hand along here, I have no warps, I can feel no warps, um, and I saw some hot rodders use the blowgun after each time they uh, throw a little stitch into there with the welder, and it cools the weld down right away and keeps that whole panel cool. So, I just finished welding, I can actually touch it, and it's just... It's actually mostly cold already, so I'm very happy with that. Now I'm going to grind it down once I get the whole quarter installed. In here, I got one, two, three, four, five swap welds, and then I got to weld this across here. So that's the next part to tackle. So this is done from here right across now. So the top part is held in place, it's welded solid. So this weld. And then this one, that one, that one, that one are going to be my next spot I'm going to tackle. So we got all the welds done that I talked about here. So now we're going to move down to the bottom of the quarter panel and the wheel arch. Here's my gap. Take quite a while to get it this close. And interesting enough, uh, this did not line up. It was always sat out or low. And now that it is all welded together, it's pulled tight, it kind of just is perfectly where it needs to be. Just finished all the spot welds in the door jam here. So now I am moving on to uh, the two down low here on the rocker panel. And we're going to work, I think I'm going to work my way along the bottom of the rocker panel there. Alright, so there are the two welds. Let's see if the camera will focus. I'm going to pull the screws out and I'll fill those up and then I'll work under the car. Alright, so now we're going to get these three spot welds uh, done in this area here. And there we have it. They're all, or these three are all done. This quarter panel is now finished um, to the point where got the welds ground down. Uh, got them done inside the door jam here. They're all ground smooth. I did underneath here, and then up in the wheel arch is done now. And up under here. It's all done. There's a, those are smoothed out. Smoothed out in here and there. So what I would not do yet is take the internal frame coating and get inside the seam. Grab the flashlight. So inside this seam here, uh, I want to spray that down in the in the bottom in there and I'll try and get the wand down in here again now it's all welded and whatever is burned off hopefully we can take care of it so just to give it a bit of perspective I put the Keystone Rogue 13 inch on there um, that's the wheel I'm planning on running with this is just the only tire I have in a let's get the size here I think it was a 205 it's a 205-60R13 um, and I think it fills out the, the wheel arch really nicely um, and nice wide I, I like how how it makes or how it's a bit of a wider wider bulge in the tires got that kind of muscle car look side shot here
So I'm going to end up keeping the stock brakes because I'm running with the 13 inch. Well, probably upgrade the pads and stuff yet, but here's the gap on the door. A lot of playing to get that like that. And then that is that. So this part of the project is completed. This is a spoiler uh, I picked up from Toy Sport. I'm thinking of running this spoiler on the car. Um, potentially might modify it. This is the correct mounting spot. But if I can drop it a bit lower, I think the, it suits the angle of the car a little better. If it's sitting further down like that, I kind of like that a little better. So it's a potential way to modify it. I mean. I'll have to change this in here if I do that. A um, little less angle, so I'll have to cut it and splice it back together and then around the lock there. So we'll just tape it for now. Nice gorilla tape works well for practice. And thanks, guys, for checking out this segment of my 1973 Sleeker Restoration.